Over 300 teachers and more than a thousand supporters with flags and posters marched through the streets of Orange Walk Town for the BNTU parade, which was preceded by a spirited rally. And after hours of rallying, the teachers and those in solidarity braved the boiling sun to parade for over a mile. And president of the local BNTU branch says that what we see today is a community galvanized by the strike. A lot of our parents came and I, have, I tell you I'm so happy to see them because I even some of my parents that I teach the children so many years ago, they are around me right here. Roughly how many people are out here and in that, how many are teachers? Well, I can say that uh, uh, roughly, I would say like 2,000, over 2,000 people are here and our membership has grown up tremendously from since we started our strike. We has, I, um, I can say that from 450, I think we are up to 600 by now. So we have a lot of new teachers on board. We have, um, for example, Muffles College who have never been with us so at full force are with us. We have Presbyterian School. No, no, they were not. Um, they were not with us at all. Now all of them, the whole staff is with us. So there's a lot of people coming on board with us. Talk to us about the support from the community. I understand ANR, which is owned by uh, a UDP, uh, is closed today. I, I think that this past party politics, and I need to say that, that I'm, I think that it's very important that I reiterate what I said this morning. Um, I, I called, I personally called on the business people, the business community of Orange Walk, because I believe that this is a town. Orange Walk town has always been a town that has always given back to the, to the people. And you, you, you can see the records. You know, when we have um, fundraising drives and all these things, when all the media people come out together with the support of the business community. Today, the business community did not did not fail me. Did not fail the teachers that give them businesses. And I want to applaud them. I want to applaud them because it is, you know, that they come on board with us. Closing their business is, is what we want to see, that you don't come and tell us we are with you. We are in solidarity. You need to show us. And having a &R as a big enterprise, you know that teachers go and buy every day. Weekends you will see the bag of school supplies that they take out from that store. And I think that the, the, the least that we are expecting from them is their participation by closing their business to show solidarity with us. But while businesses close their doors for a day, the teachers haven't been to the classroom for almost a week. But the Orange Walk teachers say that four days without pay is a small price to pay when it comes to the issues they're on strike for. I've been hearing different problems in the country for the past two or three years or before, right, from before. And we've, we've tried to see what the government will do about it and the government hasn't done anything. And so now the union decided to take it into their hands and try to strike for our money along with our other problems that we have in the country. Now, Ms. for how long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for 30 years. You've been teaching for 30 years. Is this perhaps the worst that you've seen the issues in the country? Well, I think more or less it, a little worse than the one before. Not not much worse, but the, when we strike about 10 years ago, it was almost for almost the same reasons, right? And money and lots of other social problems. But this one is if we don't do something now, the country will be getting going to worse, right? So I think we need to strike now. It's been four days since you guys have been on strike you're not getting paid for four days. How does that settle with your family? Aren't they saying to you, well, mom, you need to go to work. You're not getting paid. Well, my family, luckily, we have, I have a family of about six teachers in the family. You know, my daughter's a family, and I have some in-laws being family. And as I said, we need to stand, make a stand -talk for it. We have to make a sacrifice. So we need to stand firm. The last time when we made a strike, it was for two weeks. Two weeks we were out of school. And then finally, we got what we wanted. Do you think this time around you guys will get what you want? Well, hopefully at least we get, I would say at least if we get more, a little more than half or a, a written paper with a signature, then maybe, maybe we can decide to go back to school and then wait for two or three months for it to get into effect, right? But at least if we get maybe about four or five of the things that we are asking for, then I think we would, we would go back to school as a union, no? We have to make the decision then. Now, uh, earlier this week, the government sent out two releases asking the BNTU to come back to the table and saying they're willing to sign the UN Anti-Corruption Convention. Uh, do you think this is progress? Well, it is, it is progress, but the one I heard that the Prime Minister was saying that he's going to sign until December, then I said maybe he just wants us to go back to school. The union is not a, partis uh, a, a party politics group. I believe strongly that it's about time that union sends strong messages. We sent one in 2005 to the PUP and we're here again sending this strong message to the in 2016. This is day four of the strike. This means four days for, for without pay for you. 
I mean, how does that resonate with your family? I mean, you're making a big sacrifice. Yeah, indeed, I have, I have my personal commitments to the bank, but I am making a sacrifice. And I am not making a sacrifice only for my family. I'm making a big sacrifice even for Belize. So I will find ways how to cope because I am certain I have a daughter also that is a teacher and her, her salary will be cut. But we're putting, we have our little savings that will put us on stand because we believe that somebody needs to stand and here I am to stand for Belize. The teachers, students, citizens of Orange Walk were joined by Orange Walk Town Council, chairman of the Orange Walk Cane Farmers, Alfred Ortega, leader of the opposition, John Bersenio, and head of COLA, Giovanni Brackett. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.